Today I'm going to teach you how to flip a cup. Nailed it. Hi, how are you? My name is Max Nosley, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Flip Cup. Easy peasy. Flip Cup's a cool game because it combines housewares with gymnastics. It's also a really good game to play with a whole big group of friends. In theory. Here's what you're going to need. Cups, a table, something to drink, and your gun. Make sure you make the right beverage choices. If you're drinking beer, you're gonna wanna go light beer. If you're going soda, you're gonna wanna go diet, or you can be a real savage. What? What is this, milk? Now the basic premise here is it's a relay race. You might remember relay races from the shit you did in third grade gym class. You remember, when your gym teacher couldn't think of anything to do. All right, kids, I uh, forgot to do a lesson plan for today, so we're all just gonna run from here to there. But uh, to take up more time, we'll just go one at a time, uh, starting with you. All right, good, ready, go. I'm gonna take a nap. Now that we're at the actual game, Here's how you do it. You drink it, you flip it, it's gotta land upside down. Right side up, that's Australian rules. Who's messing around with that stuff? First, you drink the cup. Basic idea is you're gonna wanna drink with the back of your mouth. And if you don't know how to do that, just drink and make this sound at the same time. <laughs> Sidebar, flip cup is a natural aphrodisiac, so don't get mad if you get pregnant. Great, you drank the cup. Now it's time to flip the cup. Place it on the edge of the table. Not so that it falls off. Now just give it a little tap from the bottom up. Some common techniques include the elevator, no wrist at all, you just raise your hand straight up. The pervert, which is all wrist and middle finger. You give it a little tickle, and then you give any girl at the table the creep stare. And lastly, the thumbs up technique. Just give him a hard thumbs up. I've only seen one guy do it ever, and he was unbelievable. And I lost to him like 12 times in a row. I don't want to talk about it. Now, here's the real secret and what everybody seems to do wrong. And I have no idea why you guys are doing this. It makes me madder than the Hulk when he's at the public library on a Sunday. It makes me madder than when I read a grammatical error on Twitter. Ugh. Here's what everybody does, ready? Here's the people who know what they're doing. Use your other hand to pick up the cup and reset it. What, what are we doing here? This ain't some pirate game where you gotta play with one hand tied behind your back and an eye patch. Cause that's a game I've made up and it's a completely different game. And then this hand, you don't know what you're doing with this hand. You get like the awkward arm, but it's a drinking game. So it's an awkward drinking arm. Just use both hands, okay? Remember, we're not drinking harder. We're drinking smarter. Now, let's get to some advanced maneuvers. They're basically all cheating. But bro, if you're not cheating, you're not trying hard enough, right? Tip number one, you don't have to swallow. That's what she said. Yeah, 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 listen, we can all make blowjob jokes till we're blue in the face, neck and chest. Come on, act like you've been there before, all right? You drink the cup, don't swallow it. Just start flipping. You can just hold the liquid in your mouth as you're flipping, because they're all gonna be looking at the cup, not your big dumb chipmunk face. Ready? Easy peasy. It's lame, but it gets results. You know, like Facebook stalking. What? Mom? What do you mean you had Christmas without me? Tip number two, wet surface tension. Wet the counter. No way to get around it. Flip cup is a messy game. Pouring, flipping, crying. End result is you get a lot of liquid on the table. The sneaky move here is to make sure that the surface you're flipping on is nice and wet. So when nobody's looking, take your cup and rub it in a circle right in front of you. Get a nice little puddle where the cup's gonna land. I'm no paleontologist, but even I know when a cup's bouncing around a table, the wet surface will make it settle and bounce less and actually suck it into flat. Cheating level, hard medium. Tip number three, this is the biggest cheat of all. Karma, you make a backboard out of the cans. When you're playing flip cup, you're gonna go through a lot of beers real fast. And nobody has the time to take the empties to the trash can. What am I, a butler? So what you do is while you're playing, you subtly make a nice little backboard and then flip the cup knowing full well that you got a little barrier here. It's gonna settle your cup nice and easy. Ask Larry Bird about using the backboard. He'll tell you. Cheating level, flagrant. Now I tell you these things for two reasons. One, so you can use them yourself. And two, so you can call somebody else out on doing it. Nobody likes a sneaky drinker. There you go. Now you know how to play flip cup. You know all the advanced tricks and maneuvers. Go out there and have some fun, huh? Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. If you don't like the video, please subscribe. I'm gonna be in Orlando this weekend. So if you're around, hit me up because I'm gonna be doing a pub crawl. It's free, it's all day Saturday and they're doing a big Captain Morgan's cannonball blast fun explosion. It sounds like they're gonna be shooting a dude out of a cannon. For real. So if you want to get down on that, you want to meet and hang out, hit me up on Twitter. My name is Max No Sleeves, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Huck and I are both recently single. Hey, I'm not sure where to put my load. It's a lot of laundry. I'm guessing you're not wearing any underwear. Track and field, not a sport. Track and field. Swimming, not a sport. <laughs> Michael Phelps, nothing.